I'm going to explain the main functions of Zrail, which is a tool within Maya for creating polygons from strokes. This would be mainly be useful for retropology tasks. First of all, specify the source mesh, which is usually the high resolution mesh, so the strokes can be drawn on this geometry. This will create a connection with the Zrail shape node. The UI handles this process, but you can still manually do the connections. Click Rail Mode to start with nothing. Then press Enter to complete. We'll work later with a selection. Feel free to change the subdivisions if needed. From there, we're going to create another patch. For doing so, select two boundary vertices. A yellow edge loop will be displayed. Then you can draw a stroke. This yellow edge loop is basically the starting point of the next patch. At any time, you can modify the vertex selection by reselecting them. The U spans remain the same since it should remain constant with the previous selection. The corresponding vertices have to be merged. You can improve the accuracy just by going slower or reducing the space in between the strokes. You can still redraw the patch which brings more flexibility and fix minor projection issues. Redraw mode got disabled while changing the subdivisions. You won't have access to it afterward. Until now, the stroke was parallel, but it would be perpendicular as well. Just repeat the previous steps to have an edge loop from anchor points, then shift and left click. It will create a patch following the stroke as a path. Again, redraw the patch if the projection failed. A boundary edge loop can be reshaped. Just select it, then redraw like we did before. The button on the right will be the subdivision value to 1. You can notice that we don't have to reselect the edge loop, it's already selected. With that being said, you can create many rails this way and speed up your workflow. We can create a rail surface from a set of strokes. Just repeat the initial steps several times. It's important that any stroke has the same direction, otherwise the patch will be reversed. Again, press enter to create the rail surface. Zrail goes with another plugin named Z Wireframe Viewport. It is included as a bundle. It's a custom implemented viewport. It would be quite useful if you need to visualize the load geo during the retropology process. It is responsible for the selected override mesh display. It acts like a layer so you still have control on attributes like back face or override shading. The override shading attribute is one that you have access in the mesh shape node. You can activate, deactivate this attribute as usual in the Maya attribute editor directly. If for some reason it overlays some of the drawing set the depth priority to a lower level. The viewpoint can be activated from the UI. For a quick activation, just click the toggle button on the Zrail interface or from Maya's item menu directly. Zrail is seamlessly integrated within Maya like any other nodes, so you can use built-in commands like merge, bevel, and so on, and then keep creating rails. However, for the sake of efficiency, we've wrapped some of them like polybridge or polymerge to name a few. To create a bridge between two patches, select an edge loop like we did before. The middle mouse click on another boundary vertex. As long as you did not press enter, you could still modify the selections. The bridge function will try to find the smartest selection. The loops will tend to have the same direction and same amount of edges for both sides. Check the bridge subdivisions, then press enter. We've created rails from an empty selection so far. As mentioned before, we can also create rails from an existing mesh. The concept is built on an object space approach. We're going to experiment with a new cube primitive. This object has now a non-zero translation. Logically, the newly created surface wouldn't be on top of the source mesh. 
As expected, the rail surface is created following the target mesh local space. If that is not what you expect, just freeze the transformations of your target mesh, then repeat the process. Now the rail surface lays perfectly on the source mesh. As we said earlier, the patches are snapped into the mesh. This works essentially with a ray projection based system. The relief of the source mesh matters as well. The projection distance attribute and the UI should help to tackle this kind of issue, even if the default value should be fine in most cases. Let's change the value to a lower one and see how it reacts as expected. If the vector length is too small, you will have a poor result. By increasing the ray distance, it would resolve the problem on the other hand, having a too big value would reduce the performance and create artifacts. The relax brush function will average the vertices while ensuring that they stay on the source mesh. Z Rails feed Maya with registered commands, thus you can use these functions for your everyday work, blend shapes, straps, and much more. The Relax Brush can be one of them. Here you can see the orientation of the camera matters. Indeed, some of the polys are pushed to the left. Now we're going to play with the merge system. Here we create a new rail surface, but the merge can be applied on any vertices of the mesh as long as it's on a boundary edge. To merge boundary vertices, middle mouse click on the vertex and drag the target vertex. When you release the button, the vertices got merged at the middle distance. To merge an entire edge loop, just select shift middle click on another vertex border, then enter to merge them. Combining several of these functions may help to speed up your workflow with less clicks. We can create a radial loop with several parallel strokes. To do that, we generate a set of strokes around the eye. Again, the order and the direction are important. You choose the direction, it just needs to be constant. We have something interesting, but the shape is open and the border interpolation is linear. We can create a bridge, then use the relax brush, but that would be an extra work that we can avoid by using the close strokes function. The close strokes function would be better for this purpose. This allows to generate closed patches, which is quite efficient for radial loops. Here the loops are way better interpolated and the shape is closed. Anytime you create a patch, a custom node is created even when you change the amount of subdivisions and set that into the network to feed the input mesh shape. By doing so, ZRail works in respect of the Maya's undo-redo mechanism and every type of pipeline. However, if one of your Maya sessions doesn't have a ZRail installed, make sure that the plugin is loaded or just delete the shape history before submitting your scene throughout the pipe so your output shape can be evaluated normally. The window widget offers basic options like themes or window frame display. You can translate the window just by dragging the middle mouse button anywhere on the window. You can scale it with the right mouse one and at any time you have access to the help, but updated ones can be found directly on the website. We constantly update the tool for free. Stay tuned on social networks to get notified. Thank you and have fun.